get very interesting right away this map is open to so many different kinds of play and let's see if we will have some nice plays actually if the loading actually completes at some point but while it is still loading in I would like to ask for the opportunity to tell your friends about this clan war tweet about it write about it on Facebook spam every chat channel on uh, on Starcraft that you know get people over here to watch this awesome play because with master level you can only have great plays so let's introduce our players on this first map on frost in the bottom right hand corner for x game we have cataclysm and he will be the protos of this matchup and starting in the top left hand corner of frost we have heralds of apocalypse kilau and he will be our Zerg starting off in the cross position location uh, from Cataclysm. And let's see what this match will bring. Like, what is very nice for Protoss is that they can play quite greedy on this map. Because the spawn locations are so far apart. This, the ramp is not too wide to wall off quickly if you choose to go for a Nexus first. And it's just very nice laid out for that. But at the same time, Zerg also has the opportunity to be very aggressive because it takes such a long time to scout out and the Protoss does not always get the opportunity to know what the players are doing. So Cataclysm is, take, is just taking the save route and he's scouting immediately after he finishes his pylon and he's going to go for that gateway expanse style not going for any wall off at the front he's quite confident that his micro is good enough to stop any aggressive uh, moves from Kilau and let's see if that will be enough but it looks like Kilau is also going for a quite a very a quite a standard opening or well I shouldn't actually not say standard because it's not very standard for Zerg to go hatchery first when they have not scouted their opponents yet only this overlord is make it into the, make it in, into the first wrong base at the bottom left but f for the rest he knows nothing so usually you see a spawning pool first but with these large distances between the uh, between between the bases he might as well go um go take that hatchery first into that spawning pool but is being, being a little bit more safe with that gas that has been started because even uh, because sometimes on this map you even see a three hatchery before pool if you want to play extra greedy which which sometimes you can actually get away with but this probe can definitely see everything that is being built in the base of Kilau and let's see if any shenanigans will be popping up anytime soon but I guess the first gas will just go towards that quick zergling speed to take uh, to take some map control over Cataclysm at the same time in his base the uh, the cybernetic score is done and he's just saving up to pop down that nexus and there it goes nice on time as well and that probe is just going to make his way back home it seems because the zerglings will be popping quite quickly and there they are and they will look for that probe to avoid any proxy pylons from going down now that probe is trying to hide at the third base location but he will not uh, he will not scout anything else maybe he will try to go into the main base one more time but no, it does not seem like it, and eventually this probe will die to those Zerglings because they're just a little bit quicker. Now, looking from the vis vision of Kilau, you can really see that he has not scouted the top right position, and he also did not scout the bottom right position. So at this point, he is not sure where his opponent actually is, while Cataclysm knows exactly what is going on. He's starting to get that wall of complete, but it will be a lot harder to pressure that third base of Kilau if he does not have a probe on the map and he's just getting those zerglings away as far as he can so they will, will not scout the base but now at least he knows that uh, now Kilau knows that Cataclysm is not in the top right hand position and he knows where to look for and he knows where to scout it but no probe on the map so that's good for Kilau and he can drone up a little bit more safely because it will take such a long time for any units to make it across the map in this position now the circling speed is just finished up and they're 
going for a run by into the main base. The probes were not actually mining in that location. He does not make it into the main base, but at the same time that Overlord is being scouted out. <laughs> and the Stargate is being constructed, but that Overlord is not going into the main base any further. And it would be really nice for Kil uh, Kilau if he could scout that at least. So I'm not really sure what this Overlord is doing here at the moment. He's just sitting, uh, a sitting duck, I should say, as uh, the expression goes. But at the same time, on, on Kilau's side of the map, the layer is coming through. The Roach Warren, Warren is under construction. He has taken that second gas as well to ramp up that gas unit production as well. So he'll most likely get those evolution chambers quite soon as well. And that third base is finished now and he's just droning up as quickly as he can. Now the first unit from that Stargate is an Oracle and let's see if he's able to do some damage with it. The Overlord does get taken out by the sentries and he... Did he actually scout that? Uh, that Stargate? Yes, he did. And of course, that's the response you see with the Spore Cross being plopped down in every base. So maybe the Oracle is able to get one or two kills, but not a whole lot more than that. And also these Zerglings being positioned in a very nice position, trying to get those sentries who are separated from uh, from the Zealots at this time. And let's see if they... Yeah, they are completely depleted of energy and most of them go down as well. One Zergling makes it out alive to tell his friends what a brave hero he has been. But at the same time that Oracle is making it across the map and let's see if that is actually able to do some damage. But Cataclysm is unable to pressure uh, Kilau at this time other than with this Oracle. And he does get one kill, two kills. And he has to get out of there because the spore crawler is very nicely positioned. Not completely covering the mineral line perfectly, but with this gas not even being taken at this time, he is pretty safe from taking any damage uh, from that oracle. Now, looking at the work account, our Zerg player is quite far ahead already, and he's now producing those roaches already, going for that first push. The robotics facility is under construction, but it is not done yet. So let's see if those Immortals are coming out in time as well. Now losing so many sentries early game is really devastating for the Protoss actually. Because he most likely has to has to uh, remake those. And they're completely out of energy at the, at the beginning having only one, uh, one force field. And now he has five, uh, five sentries. At the, uh, at the ramp of his natural as he's taking his third base but I don't think that the units he has currently are enough to stop that base from going down and immediately the cancel is happening as well so it gets delayed quite a bit and at the same time the Zerg is going for a Spire and I would say oh, is it just for precautions or will he go into some Mutalisk play might be very good, but that Stargate is already out, so Cataclysm could produce those um, those Phoenixes immediately. One scouting Phoenix, Phoenix gets sent out, and we see a little bit of movement from the Oracle, but he's not going into that main base. And suddenly, the <laughs> and slowly, that Mothership Core will get rid of those Roaches, but it just tickles those units mostly. Now, a lot of units making it across the map. Uh, Kilau stopping at that 65 worker support. Uh, worker supply and just getting a lot of army out at this time as well at the same time also getting that fourth base so I guess he will be droning quite uh, quite soon again and we have nine mutalisks on the way as well with plus one armor again Cataclysm trying to take that third base and it's being spotted immediately so let's see if he's able to hold it the Oracle is actually focusing on that on that hatchery but I don't think it will be enough those roaches getting on top of that immortal, it gets sniped down immediately. But nice force, force fields making a lot of those roaches unable to do any damage. But will it still be enough? A lot, some of these sentries still have full energy. There are still some force fields left. But it does look like Cataclysm can hold this attack. But now the Mutalists are coming in as well. And let's see if... <laughs> They are doing some damage. There's the GG. He cannot stop those Mutalists from coming in. And Kilau takes the first match for Heralds of Apocalypse.